In the world of mobile computing, you don't always need to have an expensive machine to get the job done. See my full coverage of the $10 laptop, linked in the description below. However, I thought it would be interesting to stack up this 11-year-old Toshiba against a $3,000 MacBook Pro. I know this is more an apples to oranges comparison, but just how much more performance and usability does a much more expensive laptop get you? My name's Nathan, join me on our journey to see which machine is right for you. At a glance, the MacBook Pro is a clear winner when it comes to thickness, or should I say thinness. However, with the latest Apple MacBooks, you are giving up traditional USB Type-A ports, SD card readers, and HDMI ports. Also gone are the excellent MagSafe charging connectors. This shift to a much thinner design has without a doubt come with some significant sacrifices to convenience. Comparing the current gen MacBook Pro against a mid-2011 model really shows just how many ports you are giving up in an effort to create a significantly thinner body. The $10 Toshiba, on the other hand, was built in an era where manufacturers were putting as many ports as they could basically fit into a laptop. When it comes to build quality, having a machine made from aluminium definitely makes it feel rigid and really sturdy. That doesn't mean that all plastic laptops don't have their advantages though. If you were to drop the $10 Toshiba, it would likely bounce back after taking the hit. If you were to drop an all-metal laptop such as the MacBook Pro, you would without a doubt warp the frame and cause permanent denting to the body. Repairability and upgradability are interesting points of contention in the modern age of computing. Brands such as Apple and Microsoft are creating their portables with less and less expandability, and in turn less repairability. If your current generation MacBook Pro suddenly dies, you are basically screwed, as the solid-state hard drive is soldered directly onto the logic board. On the flip side, you can easily swap out the hard disk, RAM, as well as the optical drive in a matter of minutes with the $10 Toshiba laptop. If it suddenly died, all you'd have to do is remove the hard disk, put it in a SATA caddy, plug it into another machine, and you'd have access to your files again. When it comes to gaming, the Toshiba is significantly less powerful in every way. That's to be expected. It is, however, running Windows XP, which is still compatible with most modern games. The MacBook Pro is running Mac OS, which gives you a lot less options when it comes to games. Unsurprisingly, games such as Minecraft run great on both machines. An area where the MacBook Pro steps ahead is with its great battery life. Even though the Toshiba is really old, it never really had good battery life to begin with. Modern CPUs are far more energy efficient, and modern laptop designs have been refined to fit much larger capacity batteries. However, replacing the battery in the Toshiba is easy as flicking these tabs. If the battery ever dies in your MacBook Pro, you'd have a hard time removing it as it's actually glued directly onto the chassis. Trust me, it's not fun to remove these batteries. When it comes to the keyboard, Apple is trying something different with their butterfly-style keys that have very little travel. This also helps to decrease the overall thickness of the laptop itself. The Toshiba has more traditional-style chiclet keys that some people may prefer. Both machines can browse the web and do basic tasks with ease. The MacBook Pro has a fantastic display with great color accuracy, contrast, and a wide color gamut. The Toshiba was somewhat dated even when it was released, featuring a 4x3 aspect ratio display. The bottom line is, a more expensive laptop does not always equal greater convenience, long-term durability, as well as upgradability. If you don't edit videos and photos on the go, then a cheap, basic laptop like the $10 Toshiba is without a doubt still an option. Similar old laptops can always be found really cheap and even free. So, which machine would I use? Well, given my profession as a freelance photographer, I can't really live without my MacBook Pro. The great performance, display, portability, and battery life far outweigh the fact that I'll have to use a few dongles. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest videos. On screen are some of my recent uploads. Feel free to check them out. I'll see you next time.